Connor, Joe, and I were sleeping. It was raining outside, beating on the roof, making a nice little sound. Super Bass is pretty beat up yet. Poor guy. He was angry, said he'd done too much damage to himself with drugs. Seemed hell-bent on getting himself destroyed. And we'd try and take care of him, though. Boomerant went mad outside. Started making a rush for us. We were in bed, though. I decided I'd go out and close the door. If I could make it in time. Turns out I couldn't, though. I didn't want to risk getting blown up. And those robots over there ended up having to deal with them. It wasn't the best situation, because then the robots decided to come deal with us. Meanwhile, those rats were showing up, blowing up traps, starting fires. The robots crept, the rats went and attacked them. One of the rats blew up right next to one of the little robots. Did a fair amount of damage to it. The big one was on the way though. I started shooting the one I could hit. It went down on a trap. The big one was still creeping. Super Bass was missing all the action and couldn't get out of bed. And eventually the big one made it over. I started shooting at it. Based on the fact that it outranged me though. I didn't want to get hit by it. Marjo took a couple shots. Ended up getting shot by the thing. And we decided to just let it go on the traps. See if that would take it out. I tried to lure it in a little more. And it seemed to work. There are plenty of traps left. It's unfortunate we'd have to rebuild them all. But it certainly wasn't the end of the world. Neither was wanted to get hurt any worse. So the thing crushed traps until it went down. Marjo went and laid down, trying to get herself tended for her injuries. So I took care of her. Super Bass got up about that time. And I was finally feeling pretty confident in my medical abilities. Thought maybe I'd take a stab. Marjo's bionics at some point here. We started rebuilding traps and then it occurred to me I'd better go out. See if I can destroy that ship that had fallen nearby. While Marjo worked on the traps. Super Bass had himself a meal. He went and grabbed a shotgun. So I shot up the ship. And Super Bass got a shotgun. Grab some food and a beer. Sneaky guy was drinking a beer right in the storage room. I destroyed the ship, hauled some of the important stuff back. Didn't want to leave it sitting out there. And then I ran back in. Super Bass was hell bent on getting out in the world, killing robots anywhere he found them. So he just took off. We were a little sad to see him go. But he's his own man. He can do what he wants. There were fires spreading like crazy. Super Bass got himself caught on fire, in fact. Marjo walked right by the poor guy. She refuses to touch fire. She's terrified of it, apparently. Whatever the issue, we had some major fires. Gonna have to be dealt with. Super Bass managed to pad his fires out. And I decided to get out there and see if I could put out a good chunk of that fire. And Marjo was carrying stuff around. Had herself a meal. I was sleeping. She had a beer as well. I was a little crabby about Super Bass leaving. But he was okay. I got up right as Marjo went to bed. She'd been shot in the right arm. And that was also where her power claw was. She seemed to be recovering just fine. I started working on her bionics. It's a little touch and go, but with the best of medicine that I had, all the bionics ready to go, it wasn't that big of a deal. I didn't want to screw around and use anything but the best medicine. I wanted the best chance of success. 
and so far so good. Two of them installed. She'd already be a lot faster than she was before. I decided to clean up the cook space a little bit. It was quite the disaster. And then next, it was back to working on Marjo's bionics. The more I did, the more my confidence grew. And I was met with success after success. I decided to have a beer, feed Marjo some food. I had installed one of her eyes and two of her legs so far. And I kept right on working on it. About that time, a bunch of them dirty aliens showed up. We didn't have a lot of our traps rebuilt, so we were in a bit of a position here. I was right in the middle of an operation, though. I couldn't very well leave her there bleeding out. So I struggled to finish, trying not to feel any pressure. Two of the aliens went down on traps. The last one made it inside. But ended up getting shot up by our guns. Two of those really small aliens were fighting with a pack of goats. I'd gotten overzealous in the time that was happening. Started another operation on Marjo. Maybe I was getting a little overconfident in all honesty. One of those aliens hadn't died. It was laying out there wiggling around in the mud. Blood. I grabbed my gun. Went on out. I'd have to deal with these goats. Little face hugging aliens before we had more of these damn things on our hands. Certainly didn't want that. I don't know what it is about the assault rifle, but sure it's hard to hit things that are on the ground. So, I killed the goat it was attached to, then I killed it. Then I killed the other goat it had attacked. Didn't want to leave him. Didn't need more aliens popping out of here somewhere. That alien that had gone down to the trap had expired. Which is for the best. I decided to watch a little TV and chill out at that point. There was lightning blasting. Thunder going. It was a crazy storm. But the power didn't go out. So I can't complain about that. I had myself a nice meal. I'd run out of really good medicine, so I used the best I had. Kept doing operations. And at that point, I started feeling really ill. Wasn't sure what was going on. Apparently I'd come down with malaria or something. So I did my best to tend myself. I took some meds. I did a reasonable job. Fed Marjo, she'd been laid up all day, hadn't been able to get out of bed. And it was time for another operation. Despite me being sick, I was feeling pretty decent. I got her bionic heart installed, boxed up her old one, put it on ice. Some kind of symbolism there, I don't know what it is. I slept a little bit, and when I got up, it was time for yet another operation. My medical skills were feeling better and better all the time. I was doing a bionic spine on her. And once again, that was a success. That was about all I had. There was medicine that needed to be moved around. We had it laying everywhere. The cook room was a mess as well. With Marjo laid up, traps weren't getting rebuilt, and dead aliens weren't getting hauled. I tended myself for the malaria, fed Marjo again. With all my bionics, I was doing really well, defeating this disease. And I still felt superhuman, so I kept right on working. Marjo got up. She was going to take some time to adjust to all the bionics, but she was happy as could be call herself the six million dollar woman we were off to bed about 11 that night both feeling about as bionic as a person could I felt sick and hungry as well but 
Marzio got up and took care of me. I was getting over the malaria relatively quick. Marzio went out, start rebuilding the traps. I got up and decided to toss some horseshoes in the rain. We felt unstoppable at the minute. Mm, that was pretty fun. It's a good, strong feeling. And we almost had the traps rebuilt. I finished up the last one. Smarjo did some tidying up. After everything was rebuilt, things were tidied up a bit. We did some repair work. There's all kinds of steel around. Once again, we were running a bit short. So we hauled in a bunch of that. I was off to bed, Marjo using the telescope, despite the fact that it wasn't really dark outside. Marjo came in to tend me, did a damn good job. I'd recover just fine, I'm sure. Malaria wasn't going to take a guy like me down at this point. I had to repair a ton of the walls where the alien blood had melted it, and Marjo was laid up in bed, having a good night's sleep. And about that time, the rice was ready. Probably had been ready for a while, but I finally got around to it. So I started harvesting that before it was time to get off to bed myself. With the bionics, neither of us needed as much sleep as we did before. Our schedules were all wonky. Marjo came in to feed me about 4 a.m. And a meteorite fell nearby. Looked like sandstone. The only reason we'd take it out is if people were using it against us as cover or something. Someone named Nunez called, saying they needed some help. Now, we weren't in a position to do it at this point. I finished the rice, got that hauled in. That was a fox and a cougar, both attacking a giant tortoise outside. It sounded disgusting. That poor turtle, there was nothing we could do for it. Marjo came in and tended me. She was hauling stuff around, just keeping things busy, doing some smelting then. I worked on the rice for a while, then I had a beer. And Marjo cleaned a bit. The fox had died on our trap. Probably sick from how much raw turtle meat it had eaten. There was still more rice to plant. Still more stuff to smelt. And we heard some weird sounds just to the north, coming out of the river. We had to go inspect what was up. A bunch of insects had popped out of the ground over there. Big mean looking bastards. Some of them were anyway. So we grabbed the guns, headed on over, decided to creep. I started shooting at them. That seemed to make them all mad. They were really slow because they were in the water. So we dropped the little one. Big ones were going to be the issue, though. Both of us were fast as could be, so it wasn't like they'd be able to catch us. Marjo was shooting and running, shooting and running. I was just targeting whatever I could. Some of them decided to come after me at that point. So I boogied. We were both taking shots and running away. Marjo was getting perilously close to getting attacked by them. Maybe she needed to understand these bionics didn't make him pervious. But she was laughing the whole time. Almost a bit of madness in her voice. Hopefully bionics didn't mess up her head. But I think she was just having fun. There's still two big ones chasing after me. So I ran and I shot. Marjo was hiding behind a bush nearby. Started trying to give him the business as well. Things are tough as could be, man. I managed to take second to the last one down. And then the last one went down. Some of them were laid up injured. Marjo got over there and put the thing out of our misery. And then we ran up to deal with their little hive things. They left some weird looking green jelly around. Stuff looked like it might taste pretty good. They seemed to live off it. We destroyed the hives. That was about that. We were on our way. 
except I went back to haul the jelly. We got inside, I had a meal, got back to planting rice. Marjo was off to bed. She was pretty crabby, said she hadn't had any fun all day. She was soaking wet. I decided to go mine out that last piece of plasteel that was nearby. And Marjo was smelting when I got back. For me, it was time to lay down. I was pretty sleepy once again. I don't know if it's the bionics or this fantastic bed, but I don't really need as much sleep as I feel like I used to. Maybe it's a combination of the two. Marjo was visiting one of the graves. I was sleeping. We decided to train some more animals. We could get out of here, go live by the ocean finally. That'd be our goal. So Marjo trained animals. I worked on cooking a bunch of meals. And once in a while she actually had some luck with those things. We were both worried about the fact that the aliens are going to show up and kill them. There are tons of components nearby compacted into the mountain. I decided to mine all those. We had a bunch, but who knows how many we'd need. We were going to build a spaceship. So I worked on that. Marjo smelted. And I was getting to be a pretty fantastic miner. One of the alpaca came over, friendly as could be. Just wanted to hang out with me. It was nice to have somebody there. I picked up all the components I'd mined. Got them hauled on inside. Marjo was still smelting. When I got in, I started making packet survival meals. We were going to need a fair amount of those. We didn't want to have to get in a position where we had to be cooking. We were trying to build a ship. But it seemed like that's no, no way to avoid that, really. I was having a beer. It was about 9 o'clock. We decided to put a place where the alpaca could lay. And we finally had a little fun last night. First time we did so since Marjo's bionics. And I will say it was an interesting experience. We were going to build a little barn area and fill it with hay so these animals could take care of themselves in there. And so hopefully they'd be a little safer. Wouldn't go getting killed. Marjo was watching TV. I was cooking meals. He had a bunch of meat I'd had to butcher up. Didn't want it to go bad. Marjo went out to see if she could tame a couple more alpaca. She said she liked them. Said she liked them better than dogs. And she seemed to have a knack for training them. We were going to have to get some food in their new spot before too long here. I was cooking away. Marjo brought a dead goat she found inside. Hopefully there's no damn aliens in the thing. And I kept right on cooking. Marjo worked on the new barn area. I made some kibble I could put out and feed those animals. We were getting inundated with packaged survival meals. And the alpaca were mating as well. It's summer, but it feels like spring around here. I can tell you that. I went and got myself a beer. Decided not to drink it for now. Felt nice to be clear-headed for a while. And I cooked. Marjo finished researching long-range mineral scanners or something, she said. Next up, she decided to figure out artificial intelligence. She said it was more of a software program than a hands-on physical program, whatever that means. We built a little path to the barn, and we had some fun together that night again. We were both well impressed with our own bionics and with that of each other. And there was still a ton of alpaca outside. We weren't sure how many to search for, shoot for in terms of taming. But Marjo was knocking them out left and right. 
bringing him inside. A turkey had self-tamed at that point. Sadly, you can't carry stuff on the back of a turkey. Marjo went and slaughtered it. And we were putting in floors so we could walk over to the barn faster. Although we had crap laying everywhere. I decided to mine out a bunch of stuff that was nearby. That was some silver. That'd be useful. There's also a dead turkey, although it was about to spoil. Marjo was trying to tame alpacas once again. Had herself a meal out there. The alpaca were going to sleep as she was trying. Seemed like a bad time of day to be out working on that. So she came on inside. I was still mining silver. We were starting to get a little herd of alpaca going. Marjo chilled out, messed around with the game of her board. She always claimed she couldn't make heads or tails of that thing. Being that I wasn't from this planet, neither could I. And Marjo hit the hay about midnight. I'd finished up my mining for the day. Got all the silver brought in and put away. And I was off to bed as well. Felt like I could use a little fun, but I could solve that in the morning. Marjo got up and went back to work with the alpaca. There's still a ton of them around. Somebody contacted us, saying they wanted some plasteel and they had some health shards. And that seemed like a hell of an offer to me. Since health shards will heal you most anything. Perhaps I'd have to get out. Go get on that trade offer. I packed up some stuff. Grabbed a bunch of stuff I wanted to sell as well. We had too much junk laying around here. Textiles, old clothes, you name it. And that was that. I was going to take these alpaca, get on the road, see if I could claim that. We had a fair amount of plasteel. And if we needed more later, I'm sure we'd come across some. Two hell shards. Couldn't really be ignored. Marjo tamed another alpaca, but I decided to leave that one. I already had my hands full with the ones I was loading up. And then she tamed another, right as I was leaving. I was way faster than the alpaca. I'd have to walk slow so they could keep up with me. Well, maybe we could give them some bionic legs. She kept right on taming alpaca. Too bad there weren't any bigger pack animals around. Thought it would have to do. She decided that was sufficient. We had seven or eight of the bastards now. As she was coming in, a mad cougar decided to make a move on her. Must have been starved. She started trying to shoot it. Had a little bit of success, but not as much as she would have liked. Then got a hold of her. Bit her right in the torso. And she was still moving pretty fast, considering all the bionics. She was running around a building, hiding from it, trying to shoot it, but it was quick enough that it could get to her, do some wounds to her, before she could get out of there. That bit her in the leg, but it was a bionic leg. She decided she was going to quit running to try and give it the business. She had a power claw and a bionic arm. She could bash the thing up pretty good. And she hit it with the power claw and down it went. She decided to run inside ASAP, get herself tended up. And that seemed like a good move. I arrived over at the green Toxos. About the same time bulk goods trader showed up. I fulfilled their trade offer. And at that point decided to do some regular trading. I sold them everything they would take. Gave them a little bit of a bonus, because why not? There were some peace talks nearby. 
I decided to visit the nearby village that I hadn't already visited first. Marjo was tended, and she was having a beer when those traders came walking in. After she finished the beer, she went on out to be social. She sold some buffalo wool. That was about it. They weren't too interested in anything. We had these books and all this paper we didn't want. Nobody seemed interested in it, though. Neither of us it was very artistic, so we didn't want to mess with it. Marjo cleaned out the bedroom. She was off to sleep for the night. Her injuries had been rather well tended, so she was healing just fine. That caravan that was outside got mixed up with a mad warg, attacked some of them. Rajo was working on the barn walls yet. People were coming on in, just using her space. No respect for decency, they didn't even take their shoes off. Marjo made some research progress while I was gone, but not a lot. And I eventually arrived at my destination. Sold all kinds of textiles, the ironwood, hyperweave t-shirt, just all kinds of stuff we didn't want. And then I was off to the next destination. I was going to see what I could find in terms of interesting artifacts. The trade caravan left as Marjo was researching away. And I met some people on the road, wanted to trade with me, didn't really have anything I needed or wanted though. We were getting a little short on medicine, so maybe I should have bought some of that, but we'd be alright for a little while. And Marjo kept researching while I kept walking. She hit the hay around midnight, still feeling some minor pain. The pirate merchant trade ship came by. Seems like as soon as I leave, all the traders show up. Marjo made a note to call him in the morning. She ended up selling a psychic soothe pulser and buying some medicine. Not a whole lot of excitement in all honesty. I made it to my destination. Once again, another trade was in order. So I bought some advanced components, seemed like we'd need a bunch of those. I sold some berries, some furniture we didn't need. They had a shoulder plasma caster I really wanted, but I couldn't afford it. So it was what it was. That'd be the sweetest addition to my bionics, I can tell you that. Marjo was still working on research. Ship chunk fell nearby. She'd make it a point to deconstruct that. More components, the merrier. I failed at the peace talks. I think I showed up too late. Everybody was drunk. I couldn't take their BS. Might have said some things I shouldn't have. So relations were worse off than they were before. But whatever. Marjo was off to bed about midnight. And she'd fully healed up. She was feeling great. I wouldn't have to use my healing shards on her. She continued working on research. And I ended up getting back home about that time. I had to tell all the alpaca where to go. They're surprisingly smart. Although they did walk in and trample over my fabrication bench. I sat down and had a beer. And Marjo moved stuff around, put away the stuff I'd got. We are going to need some food for those alpaca before too long. I also had to harvest a bunch of rice. Marjo was working on researching. I was harvesting rice. We decided to let the alpacas outside so they could find some food on their own for a while. Once our hay started coming in, though... We'd get them stabilized in there. So I plucked rice out of the ground, 
called in what I could. Butcher to Fox. Started making a meal. Marjo was tossing horseshoes. I made a few meals and then I got to bed. I'm feeling just fantastic. Marjo came in too. She was in equally as happy a state. When I got up, I had a meal. And you know the power is going to flicker. And then there's going to be aliens once in a while. We had to get our alpaca to safety here. Marjo was outside when the aliens showed up and there was a ton of them. They were distracted by me though. Fortunately. I was so worried about Marjo I forgot to whistle in the animals. And she seemed like she'd be safe. I was trying to shoot the bastards, but there were so many of them. The animals were in the way. It was just a big bloody mess. Some of them seemed confused in the hallway. They were thinking maybe go out and try and get Marjo. Well, we brought them all down with just the traps. Maybe I'd shot them, but if so, not significantly. Some of them were still alive as well. We talked about butchering these things, but the problem is they explode with acid in your face. As I was running over to the doorway, one of them had gotten up. The guns started shooting, and I got caught by a few of the minigun mini turret bullets on my way over. We had to bring down all the aliens that were laid up but not dead. I was going to have to get myself tended before something really bad happened to me. Marjola seemed to have better luck shooting them when they were on the ground anyway. Through that dark hallway, nobody could see anything. But it seemed like they were all dead, and we had to get them all hauled here. The alpaca were all safe and sound, so that was fortunate. Marjo tended me up. Turns out, that drone had gotten a hold of me too. I guess that's what that alien's called. And once again, I was injured, but not too bad. The bionics help a lot, I can tell you that. Marjo started rebuilding traps. I was watching TV. Seems like these aliens always show up. Two groups at a time. So she thought the trap should go up ASAP. And I decided to make a little bit of kibble before our alpaca starve. Clearly we can't be letting those things run wild. Then we had to haul all the dirty old alien bodies out. I was going to harvest a bunch of steel from nearby with my mining axe. And of course the second batch of aliens showed up right as we set the alpaca free. We didn't really have any traps but two. We're gonna have to deal with these two. See if we can get inside. And once again, the alien got to us. Got a hold of Marjo. We were bashing it with our gun. Doing our damnedest to drop it. And we succeeded. That was a really big, mean looking one coming. And then a medium sized, mean one looking. A mean looking one coming as well. We got the hell out of there. It was chasing after us. Yep, we ran it right by the sentry guns. That did for it. What a nightmare, man. I can't wait to not be here anymore. I was terrified. I huddled down in the hallway. The blood disgustingness for a minute before I came to my senses. Marjo went. Killed the big alien that had gone down but not died and we let the animals cut loose a little bit I had to tend up Marjo and once again we we're a little worried we we're getting short on meds the way we ripped through the stuff around here but I guess a lot of that was used on an operation somehow the alpaca were all burned up from acid we were going to have to get that thing helped out before too long. We had some wild medicine. Well, three of the alpacas ended up needing some attention. I was hauling alien bodies out. 
once again. And about that time I was fully healed. And felt better. Didn't have any issues. It had been a hell of a couple days. And Marjo was a completely different person now. She was injured, but she'd heal up just fine. And our alpaca should recover as well. We had some work to do, but nothing we hadn't done a ton of times before. Research progress was going on too. Wouldn't be long before we were out of here. <laughs>